Hello, 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 my cash stuffing buddies, and welcome back. I'm Ellie, and I'm on Earth, and I love to play savings challenges. And today we're going to reallocate some of the smaller savings challenges that I finished into larger sinking funds. And I got out my left, right, and center game from Reinventing Renee. And I realized I haven't reallocated this money that I did last month yet. So we're going to take right, which was for travel, and we're going to do the 100 butterfly challenge. And if we need to use some of this money, this because I could just use this in any savings challenge I wanted, um, that's there if I need it. Because these butterfly, this is the 100 butterfly or the 100 envelope game, but it's just done in butterflies, and I just never know what I'm going to get, if I'm going to get a seven or if I'm going to get a 97. So let's play with these. these. These are from Tanya's Budgeting and Chaotic Life. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. I have mixed these up so many different times. I started this game, I think in June. It was a gift from my son for my birthday last year. So, okay, we've got $120, and let's see where we want to go. Okay, you got to tell me which one. There's a lot of purple ones, so let's do a purple one. Let's do this purple one. And we've got a 64. Okay, that's great. And should we do another purple one? There seems to be a lot of purple ones. This one's calling my name. Whoa, and that one's a 94. Okay, but that's all right, because we have extra money. So 94 and 64 is eight, that's 158. We're gonna save 158 into that. So that takes all of the travel. So that should be 120, and we need 58. 120. 140. I don't have, I've only got 20, so, so it's going to get 160 for the butterfly challenge today. And that's, as I said, is going towards travel. Okay, so I'm not sure what I want to do with the leftover money for the savings, so I'm just going to leave it setting aside until I decide. As I said, I'm working on creating some new binders, so I'll probably use it towards one of those. And we're making progress. I need to play this more to get this funded because I do want to go on a trip. Okay, let's see what's next. So before we get to left, right, and center, I have mentioned before I have weird things in my house. And someone asked me, what is the weirdest thing? And that's like really, really hard to choose. But today I'm going to share the all-seeing lemon. <laughs> So this came from siliconesound.com and they're on Etsy also. And it's a, it's a silicone lemon, it hangs on the wall. The eye comes in different colors and you can move the eye around to, to be however you want it to be. And so like it's, you know, you can have it like, oh, it's, it's watching me. <laughs> and I got, I, I saw this on Etsy last, last spring and I just knew my daughter would love it. So she got one for Easter and so did my son. And I decided that I needed one also because I wanted people who came to our three living spaces would all see the same weird thing. <laughs> and then they could say, that family, they're just so weird. <laughs> but um, I have thought in the past just to have it sitting here but I didn't know how much, how, how weirded out you guys would get with it sitting, sitting there. So today it's going to sit here. It's going to help me do left, right, and center. I need to scooch some of the stuff over to the side a little bit. And um, you can get, you can get a hand, you can get a lime, you can get an apple, but I liked the lemon. Okay. So left, right, and center is a game that, that I got from Reinventing Renee. She's the budget nerd on Etsy. And what you do, you roll the special dice that comes with it. So there will be either a star for center, says left, 
it says right and it says left and then there's a circle if you get a circle it doesn't go to anybody and I am not going to use my dice tower today because there's kind of not room for it. Oh, I need to allocate. What do, I, what do I want these to be for? One's going to be for travel. Which one do we want to have for travel? The right will be for travel. I want I want fun. Star is going to be fun. Fun. Fun means I can spend it however I want. And to be responsible, we can have left be for car. And where's my money? Oh, hold on. The money is important to have, right? So I am using these savings challenges that I finished up and I'm reallocating them. I kind of feel like I just want to be, I just want to be a little reckless with money. Not, not reckless, but that's why I want to do a fun one. Cause it's like, I've been, you know, this is, April, well, it's March still. And I have been very, very responsible with getting things funded, like major sinking funds funded. So it's time to have a little, a little fun. And I'm a very responsible person. So my fun will probably be something, something very responsible, at least most of it. Okay, so I need to to divide this all out or should we just play it? Ooh, we could just be really random and just play it like as as the money falls. So <laughs> it's going to slay me to put $10 down on some of these. Well, I don't know. They're all good things. They're all good things. Okay, we're just going to go. We're just going to go with it. There you go. We're just going to make that decision and just go with it. So just making sure you guys can see. Let me scooch this little guy up. I love that little guy. Okay, so here we go. We got a left. Left. I'm going to have to scooch him out of the way. A left and two nothings. Three nothings. Maybe I need to get that dice tower out. Two stars. A left and a star. So this might take a while because I got a lot of money. I got a lot of ones sitting here. Left. <clears throat> Star. Oh man, travel doesn't want to get anything. Maybe travel's waiting for a 10. <laughs> there might even be a 20 in here. And a star. And a star. And a left. Oops, what did I do? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Right in two stars. I don't know why I did that. And a left. And you know what? We are going to get out the dice tower. So it's got to be right here. It is. It's right there. Okay. Seeing I has to leave. And I think you guys can see that. Let me just double check. I gotta climb up on a ladder. Yep, you can see it. Okay. And we got two stars. And we got a left. Oh, those are sticking together. I'm surprised at how many circles we're getting. And a right and a star. And a star. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a coughing spell. So we've got a left, a star, and a nothing. We've got a left, a right, and a nothing. We got three nothings. This isn't giving me numbers any better than me rolling them. Well, it's just gonna get two because they're kind of stuck together. And we got two lefts have travel. Oh, come on. We want travel. <laughs> come on. It does. Okay. It's getting spending. Fun spending. Getting money. Left and a star. 
And three nothings. And a left. And a left. And the left. Ooh, they got ten. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Left and left. Wow, left is getting left is getting all the money. It doesn't need to get all the money. Left and a star. All right. There's. Okay. I'm gonna go left, right, and center. Yes. I kind of cheated. I'm cheating. I okay. <laughs> I am totally going to cheat. I want travel to get some money. And a star. I mean, because this is at 0% interest, so it doesn't really need to get funded all that quickly. And we got a left and a star. Ooh, let's see. Right and left. Left. And right, okay. I want another right. I got a five dollars. Okay, well, it goes to fun. That's maybe I'll have fun be travel. Okay. So I was in yoga yesterday, and I got after yoga, I spend time just meditating, praying, whatever, and I was thinking about discipline equals freedom. And then I got thinking, because it really does. And so what, like, like, let's think about that discipline. So if you're disciplined, like, because then I got thinking about motivation, like discipline You know, like motivation, like I'm, I'm very motivated to save and, but you know, I don't motivation or, you know, to exercise or, you know, whatever. And motivation doesn't last. Oh man, that just got $10. And, um, Oh, my big money. <laughs> the universe must want me to get that car paid off. Okay. So anyhow, so motivation, like it, it, do, it doesn't last. And so what, what gets you, what keeps you on track if the motivation goes away? And I, I know I've done, I can definitely talk about this with walking because, um, I, you know, when it's really hot, like when it's 100 degrees and it's, the humidity is really high, it can be very difficult to get out and walk. And I, there was one summer where it was just like, okay, it's it's not, I would listen to, I don't know if I paid that or not, I would listen to special ops guys and they would talk about how, you know, motivation doesn't last. And so what's going to get you through? It's either your commitment. I'm going to do that. I got one left. That's going to go left. All right. So let's see how everybody did. So it's like, anyhow, so it's like motivation. You know, so it's your commitment. Like, what are you committed to? And... And sometimes that's not enough to pull me forward. So it's like, okay, it's commitment. So it's a discipline. So discipline, if it's just, this is what I do. No questions asked. And I just do it. And, and it'll, you'll work through it and you'll get the motivation again. So it could be with savings, you know, with saving money or exercise or diet or oh, I don't know what else, but um I don't know what, what, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so let's just count money then. So we got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 goes to travel. 
Oh, that kind of makes me sad. It's only $28. <laughs> That's okay. It's $28 that I didn't have in travel before. And it, so it's like, what keeps you motivated? Or what do you do when motivation goes away and you just want to either blow some money on things that you really don't need or you know eat that pizza or dessert or you know what you know you know how get a bag of chips can you just eat one serving of chips I certainly cannot I try to put them in a bowl but then it's like well I'll just go get another bowl <laughs> But you know what I mean, or getting out and walking when you don't really want to. It's it's kind of, um, but, but discipline, if you're disciplined, if you are disciplined, it does give you freedom because if you're disciplined in savings, that gives you freedom in choices. Because that's what I think money represents. It, it represents choices. It gives you more choices having money. And, or if you're not, if you're not in debt, then you have, you know, you don't have that weight on you or, so it gives you freedom in that respect. Or if you want to lose weight, you know, being disciplined, it's those small baby steps consistently done will help you reach your goals. Oh, I, I, I want to say something, but I'm just, I don't think it's coming out right. Okay, so in fun, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 72, 72 in fun. So if I want to spend that on funky crystal chain jewelry, I can. What was that, 72 I said? That's what I'm writing down because that's what I believe I had. So let's see what I keep getting. Like a frog in my voice. And let's see where we are. Is that a one? No, that's a five. And a ten. And look at all those ones. Okay, so the new car is getting, this will be great, this can go towards my first payment. So I'll go 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, seventy-seven. I would have thought that would have had more money, but that's okay. That's like my first payment. So, uh, what am I thinking? That's not my first payment, but it's a good chunk towards it. And so, anyhow. Discipline equals freedom. That's your takeaway for today. In fact, I actually have a sticker that says that, but do I have it right here? I do not. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's it for me today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate the time you spend here visiting and please consider giving a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribing if you haven't and I'll see you guys all another time soon. Love ya, bye.